guys welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by thank you for your subscriptions thank you for watching my videos today i'll be making irish potato and prawn sauce and lemon so to get started this as well these are the ingredients i'll be using for this meal I have my Irish potato here I'll not be using much it's just a plate or two meal plus I'm making and um, so that is it for Irish potato and for my sauce I have my prawns uh, it's frozen I just add a little water so that it can easily freeze so I can easily work on it then I have my fresh tomatoes, finely chopped. I have a uh, crayfish. I will be blending it. I will be using it like this so that I can have things to chew each time I'm biting. Then I have my yellow pepper, chili pepper, and green pepper that I'll be using for the sauce. And uh, of course, my onions chopped. I don't like tiny chopping, just moderate size. I have. Um, a tablespoon of ginger and a half tablespoon of ginger and a half tablespoon of garlic. I depending I might not be using it. And of course, I have my salt, half tablespoon. I have my seasoning cubes here. Two seasoning cubes that I'll be using for my sauce. So, and of course, I'm not forgetting my lemon. I'll be adding some little drops of lemon in the sauce. So let's get started. Um, how do I start? How do I start? I think the first I'm going to start by peeling my Irish potato, set it on fire, and then start cooking the so, peel, you need to get this if you don't have it, it's very helpful. It makes my peeling and slicing so easy, so stress free. So, we are done with peeling and slicing our. Irish potato. I cut it into fine cubes. Try to be cutting yours into fine cubes so that your food will look attractive. Hmm? Then just chop it the way you feel like. Give it a nicely fine chops. This size is not that big to also help the Irish potato to get soft easily. So now I'm going to transfer it into our cooking pot. The water is already hot, even if the water is more hot yet, it doesn't matter. So transfer into our pot. At this point, all you need to add into this pot is just your sauce, just a pinch of salt. As for me, I like giving every food a definite taste. I'm adding a little pinch of seasoning cube. So we are going to cover and allow it to cook. So back to our sauce. What we be using for this sauce? First, I'm going to start with uh, marinating my prawn. I want to add a little seasoning cube on it.
garlic, garlic and mix together. Remember, it has the frozen and I've seeped out the water. And also add salt. will give your tongue a very nice taste because sometimes when you just put it on fire like that the taste will not be that very interesting so with this leave it for like five minutes Five minutes and the uh, oil is ready you can see it's already hot so it's now for me to transfer the prawns into the oil Okay, so we should fry it for like five minutes. We fry a kind of we are already perceiving the the smell, the flavor of uh prawn. So next I'm going to do is to start adding the other things I need for the sauce. Um, I want to start with my fresh tomato I'm not taking the prawns out because I want all the juice of whatever I'm cooking for it to absorb all the juice and the uh, um, flavor so going in with the fresh tomato Allow the prawns to continue cooking. Onion. I fry my onion most times, you know, even the fresh tomato, I don't like frying it. If not for the necessity, I wouldn't have fried the 
uh, prawns, I'll just put it in the oven to grill. So I like making my meals as healthy as I can. Because no power, I can't put it in the oven, so I'm using this food. Then the next I'm going to add is the peppers. Yellow pepper, red pepper, and green pepper. All of them are inside. I'm coming in with the crayfish. Ginger and garlic. Tomato water, water from the tomato. I don't want to use anything. Just add a little water, like half cup of water, or even a quarter. Lower the heat and allow it to simmer. Just leave it for another 30 seconds and then we we'll add some drops of lemon juice. So to make your lemon juice to be more juicy, simply rub it on a hard surface to soften it. And we are cutting. So I'm just use this and drop it a little. This gives it another beautiful flavor. So I turn down the heat and this gives it the lemon taste. When you are eating it, you will be having some feel of lemon from it, but you will be wondering how did it come out. I wish the tutorial was ready by now. Yeah, it's very soft, even very softer than I expected. I almost forgot this. So our Irish potato and prawn sauce lemon is ready. Let's have the taste. Tastes absolutely good. This taste is so wonderful. Mm. The 
one case is so amazing to see how it so if you prepare your prawns like this wherever you see prawn you would like to have it Moderately spicy. Bon. So thank you for watching. I hope you tried this at home and tell me your reply. See you in my next video. Thank you.